Hi, in this video, we will discuss the steps in fabrication of a complete denture. So there are clinical steps and laboratory steps. First is diagnosis and treatment planning. So for any successful treatment, we may need to achieve a proper diagnosis. And this diagnosis is made after proper history taking and extra and intraoral examination of the patient. And once we are ready with the diagnosis, a treatment plan is made. This will involve the steps which we are going to do, the materials which we are going to use and any invasive or non-invasive procedure which is required to correct or modify the tissues in the denture bearing area. So a diagnosis, a proper diagnosis also involves a diagnostic impression. A diagnostic impression is an impression which is made for the purpose of diagnosis. So sometimes there are conditions which cannot be detected during intraoral examination. To detect such conditions, we can use a diagnostic impression. Diagnostic impression is poured to obtain a diagnostic cast and then that diagnostic cast is examined for such condition. Now, if there is any condition which required the tissue alteration, then we will do that and after that we will make the primary impression. But if there is no such condition, then the diagnostic impression can be used as a primary impression. This primary impression, when we will pour the primary impression, will get the primary cast. And this primary cast is used for the fabrication of custom tray. We know there are two types of impression trays, stock trays and custom trays. So stock trays are used for primary impression and custom trays that is individualized tray that will be used for border molding and secondary or final impression. When we pour the secondary impression, we'll get the master cast. Over this master cast, we'll make the record base and occlusal rims and these occlusal rims are used for recording the jaw relations. There are three types of jaw relations, orientation jaw relation, vertical jaw relation and horizontal jaw relation. So, Mostly when we use the mean value articulator, we don't record the orientation jaw relations because the mean value articulators do not accept phase bow transfers. In such cases, we record the vertical and horizontal jaw relations only. Then the occlusal rims are mounted on the articulator and artificial teeth are arranged. After arrangement of artificial teeth, we do the denture trial. Once the trying denture is approved by the patient and the operator, the dentures are processed. After processing, we do the laboratory remounting. Laboratory remounting is done to remove the occlusal discrepancies by selective grinding procedure. Once we are done with this, the uh, dentures are finished and polished and then the dentures are inserted into the patient's oral cavity. And post insertion instructions are given. This is followed by the follow up appointments and the maintenance phase. So if you like this video then please share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. In the end, thank you for watching.